Whiskey, Jason here. Whiskey from the viewpoint of an American in Germany tasting rare and exotic whiskeys. And today I have a doozy. This is the second time I've had a 40-year-old whiskey here on my table. This is Spica, 40-year-old blended Scotch whiskey, natural color, cast strength, bottled, uh, sorry, distilled 1980, bottled 2020, one of 887 bottles, 44.8%. Whiskey base number 162038. So let's think back, those of us that can, to 1980. That was a very decisive um, year in my life. I left elementary school and went on to middle school. Um, That was a year Ronald Reagan was actually in office as the president. The Iran War and so on. Many, many things happened back in 1980. 40 years is a very, very long time to be in a cask. Now, the question is, what should this whiskey cost? I paid 160, 165 euros for this, so less than $200 for a 40-year-old whiskey, which I think is absolutely a bargain, to be very, very honest. Now, what I'm going to compare it to is, of course, the 29-year-old that you've already seen. The interesting thing it says here, blended Scotch whiskey, non-chilled filtered. This does not say non-chilled filtered. This says natural color. This does not say natural color, so maybe that wasn't natural color. Who knows? So I have the rest um, from my um, German video here that I can compare it to. This was a B minus, probably a C plus plus whiskey, to be honest. Then there's bitter notes in here that I'm not a great fan of. Other people might love them. Um, Other people might not. All right. So if you go to whiskey base, it says this is a sherry butt and a um, bourbon barrel. What they do sometimes in Scotland is you have a bourbon barrel and it's 38.6%. So you can't sell it as whiskey. So what do you do? You buy a um, sherry barrel with about 50% and you marry, you vat the two, and you bring that percentage back up over 40%. And ta-da, then you have a whiskey that's old and you can sell again and get good prices for that. Um, North Star Spirits is a great, great new independent bottling company. Really, really highly recommend it. And this is part of their cast series number 10. I'm not sure if this was their 9 or whatever, but okay. So the nose. Now the nose is nice, but it's somewhat reserved. There's a little bit of a sherry. There's a little bit of an oak moment. There's a little bit like a a candied almond moment. Um, There's a... stewed fruit moment but it's not really there the alcohol is prevalent more than i would like all right going over the 29 year old it has a better nose it does deeper darker richer more of a fig more of a date more of that sherry there So um, here we have 45.5, here we have 44.8, basically the same. Um, This was edition number one. This was the first one. It was 20 years old. This should have been 30. It's 29. This is 40. Um, So I paid 70 for this. I paid um, paid 90 basically for this. And I paid 160 euros for this. So you do notice a big bump in the price, but I think it's actually all of these are bargains for what you get. This was my favorite, by the way, up until I tried this. So a little nip. Mmm. 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 Much sweeter. There's a stewed fruit moment. There's a s- corn syrup moment. And what's missing totally that I hear, had here was that bitterness. Um, even though it was 40 years in a cask, and I'm going to guess that this was, I read that it was um, American and European oak, and I'm going to guess that this is just American oak. Let's think about the wood for a moment. So this was bottled in 1980. This is probably not a first fill cask. So take off another 18 years. So that's 1960. So may imagine this is actually a second filled cask. Um, so it was in America once, and then it has been used 18, um, 20 years, basically that. This was actually maybe harvested right after World War II. Maybe it's in the late 40s, maybe the early 50s. <sighs> Um, amazing, amazing. This is before Chernobyl happened, right? Chernobyl, 1986. This is 1980. This is a very, very, very old whiskey. 
and it's very good. It's very delicious. I get a nice um, strawberry moment. I get a berries. I get that sherry forwardness, and I get a nice little supporting roll of the alcohol. This is so nice. This is going to be a B whiskey for me. I don't know if you'll ever get your hands on one of these. As I said, there's 887 in the world. <laughs> I'm going to try to buy a second one here because I think it's so good. I'm going to really um, do one day one of those things, um, one of those whiskey tastings, 30 year plus. 40-year-old whiskeys, and I need this bottle then in the future um, to do that because I'll never get it cheaper in my life, I'm sure. I added water. Um, I diluted it down to about 25%, 30%, and it was still nice. It, I didn't ruin this one. Um, with a tiny little bit of water, it, um, it opens up a tiny little bit. It does more oak, less of the fruitiness, um, but it doesn't get um, sawdusty. There's not tannins. It doesn't kill your palate here. Oh, but the nose does help a lot with a little bit of water here. Hmm. Mm hmm. I personally would actually drink it with that water. Um, it's only 44.8% anyways. Um, candied, 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 um, candied almonds, candied pears, candied fruit. Everything is just totally wrapped up in that caramel candiedness. Oh, I like, I like candied cherries. So there would be a possibility of candied wood. That's what this would be. Um... Amazing, amazing, amazing. Now, if you ask me, hey, what is this blind? I would be, okay, it's older, um, 18 years old, maybe 21 years old. If you told me it was 40, I was like, no. Um, it's been watered down. It's been diluted. It's no longer cast strength. Yes, it is. Um, okay, there's a sherry moment in there. Yep, what type of sherry? Don't know. It's sherry. Um, fruitiness and... Um, I'd be willing to pay up to 200 euros for this bottle. 21 year old, 10 years, um, 10 euros per year, 210 euros, which you can pay over here in Germany. In Germany and Europe, sometimes for good bottles. Um, and they say, oh, it's 40 years old. It's like, what? I would not believe it. I would not believe it. It doesn't taste 40 years old. It tastes younger. It tastes much more vibrant. It doesn't have that old Glen Farkless 40. Um, you're sitting in the chair. It's just enveloping you. The first time I had it, I swear, the next morning when I brushed my teeth, I still had that 40-year-old taste of that wood in here. I'm not getting that. I'm getting old, but I'm not getting 40 years old. I'm getting 20-something years old. Um, to be actually honest, um, this is my favorite. This is my second favorite, the 20-year-old, and this is the least favorite, the 29-year-old. Um, the bitterness of this is just not what I want or what I need. Is it an okay whiskey? Yes. Is it a great whiskey? No. The nose on this is better than this, by the way. But the palate isn't. Hmm. Hmm. One person wrote he got lemon. I'm finally getting a lemon moment, a citrus moment. And the bitterness is here a lot stronger than here. Is it overpowering? No. Is a little distracting, yes. Um, but still, this is a fabulous price for 29 years old. This is a fabulous price for 100, for 160 euros, 40 years old, or 165 euros. Um, these are actually very, very nice whiskeys. I can highly recommend it, and I'm very, very privileged to have the chance to have tried these. All right, my question of the day is, what is your oldest whiskey you've ever had? Um, was it 40 years old? I over there have a 50-year-old grain I once bought um, that was fairly expensive. Um, much more expensive than this, actually, even though this is a blended whiskey, and that's a single grain from Cooper's Choice, um, but yet that's the way things are. Thank you very much. Please like, please subscribe, please tell others about this crazy American over here in Europe tasting whiskey you may never, ever see. Speaker 40, Speaker um, 29. Speaker is the 16th uh, brightest star in the heavens, 250, mi 250 million light years away. A million light years? 250 light years away from Earth. And uh, Speaker comes from the Latin phrase, ear of wheat. Okay. 
little bit of fun facts at the end. All the best. Thank you very much. Please share. Please tell others. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. All the best. Whiskey Jason here. Bye-bye.